Hey, what's happening guys? Hope everybody is well. So welcome back to another Astro Effects video. Now it's been some weeks since my last video. I believe the last video we did was over in Madrid and the video before that was in Dallas. Now I'm back in lovely London. Uh, we're meant to be completely out of lockdown, but of course the government decided to extend it a little bit longer. However, the office is open, the trading floor is fully packed and we're about to make my way there. But I thought before we make our way there, I thought I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm doing right now. So right now, I'm viewing some of our funded traders behind me. As you guys can see, I can see some of the positions. And every single morning, I love to wake up and see what our traders are up to, which currency pairs they're trading, and then have my overall outlook on what everybody is up to. So guys, before we head over to the office, I hope everybody is following the Astro Forex Instagram page. Now on there, you're gonna see several of our interviews that we did with some of our best funded traders on the program. Now Marco has held these interviews and in these interviews, they've got very useful information. You get to see some of the big payouts that she did from the program and you get to see a little bit more about them because I believe they're very, very motivational. Now before we go, I'm actually gonna show you the statistics right behind me. So guys, this is Isaac Adams. This is Task. This is Mikel. Now, as you guys can see, he started on a $50,000 trading account, £100,000 trading account with us, €25,000 account. As you guys can see, his PIP ratio goes along with his cash ratio, and he actually got it all the way up to over 80000 and his last payout was $22,000. Now, as you guys can see here, his toxic percentage is very low at around 11% and his favorite pair to trade at the current moment is silver and he got it all the way up to past 33,000 and he had a nice withdrawal of over 5,000 euros. Only 50% growth, nearly trading at 150,000. He's a three payouts with this in total since joining the program and his last payout was 29,000 pounds. Now, he likes to trade gold in particular. Gold, however, it is at 15 month lows due to the dollar being very bullish. However, I'm glad he got to capitalize on that fall. Now, TAS is actually one of our favorite emerging markets traders. Emerging markets can be hard to trade because of the overnight carry, but as you guys can see, his performance is still outstanding. about three weeks since I've been away. Now everyone always gives me loads of shit about Pip. Pip is looked after amazing by my housekeeper, but today we're gonna to take him to the office. So let's take Pip with us. Come on in, mate. So guys, this is normally the bit where I choose which car to take. Now, I would take the Yoris, and Yoris and I have a love and hate relationship because the battery always dies in the car. But yesterday, whilst driving through the lovely tight road of London, a lorry smashed into the side of the car. So, this is going to be quite painful, but as you guys can see, uh, that's quite painful. So I'm going to leave this car here for today. Hopefully, it gets repaired in the next few weeks because this is my favorite car, so this is quite painful, but we'll, we won't take this because we've got to take Pip with us and Ned. So let's hop into the rolls, which is outside. So sorry guys, I've talked to you like this, but Pip is in the front and uh, yeah, let's just say you don't want him in the back. Um, but on the way to the office, um, I'm gonna catch up with Marco. So me and Marco, we've been, uh, since I've been back from Barcelona, I've been speaking and getting back into the markets now. Lately in the past uh, few weeks, uh, dollar bulls have definitely taken him across the market now. This is based on, of course, US inflation coming out much better than expected, uh, similar to UK inflation. Now, the important date that we're looking forward to this week is Thursday, which Bank of England, of course, the cabinet members are going to give us their perspective on could we be tapering real soon. Now, in the US, I feel like it's a bit of a race between the US and the UK uh, to see who's going to taper first. But more of that with Marco in the office. Let's go.
Hey guys, you've been following me since this morning. Now we are over at the AstroFX trading floor. We have three offices in total to manage the whole AstroFX infrastructure. But of course, this is the trading floor. Now the trading floor is really, really busy. It's a packed out day. I know Marco has been spending the morning with them, going through the morning breakdown. I know the AstroFX team are in the other office, hard at working away at recruiting more and more traders to join the program. But follow me and we'll catch up with Marco. Mark, what's going on? Hey, now nah, what's going on? What's up, man? All good, man. I uh, just finished my session on the floor. Cool. And have, you um, have you seen every single pound this morning? Yeah, morning? about 200 pips up. Yeah, yeah. So, so well, I think the, as the head of the Bank of England uh, news this week as well. Yeah. On top of the UK inflation coming yeah. up better than expected. 100%. So me and Marco have been talking about our view on dollar bulls, but I let Marco take over because he just explained on the trading floor. Yeah, cool. So um, on Friday we had the FOMC rate decision and we obviously saw that, you know, they kept rates the same, which was fairly priced in, we knew that already, but several members from the Fed changed their stance. So that's the dot plot, they changed their dot plot and their forward guidance as to say when they expect in a bank, bank rate hike in the States. Now that's obviously saw a lot of dollar optimism, okay, so we saw the dollar index head from 90 all the way to 92, driving cable to an important level of 138. Now, I mentioned this on the trading floor, Nat and I have been going back and forth of this as well. We had Jerome Powell early on Monday reiterating that, you know what, this inflation is purely just because everything's opening back up. So it's fairly transitory. So it is temporary and that is bringing fears back into the dollar. So we've seen a bit of a dip on the dollar as well as the pound optimism this week ahead of the BOE. It's been a nice little double whammy driving cable out of 138 back into the highs, just under 140 right now. So just under 200 pips up on that. Uh, we did give that away on the floor as well. Now, ahead of the BOE later this week, two of the nine members have turned very hawkish. Now, hawkish in the sense that they're very optimistic on the outlook. We've seen UK inflation absolutely smash expectations. We've come out of this lockdown roaring. We have about 40 million people that have received their first dose of the vaccination i.e. we're heading to herd immunity, hopefully back to normal very, very soon. Now, that's obviously driven and being now priced into the pound. And personally, I do expect they're heading higher, depending on the optimism at the event later this week. So stay tuned and uh, yeah, we'll keep you guys up to date. Cool. And that's 40 million, that's 60 million people who have been vaccinated. Yeah. I'm sure if you guys watch Sean's stories, you know what, let's do something funny with the comments. Do you believe in vaccination? Comment below. I'm gonna see everyone's reactions, but again, yes, as we see, I believe pound will cross over 1.4 uh, back into that territory, especially with us still being on lockdown and a lot of figures coming out well here at the UK. Um, now, Marco has obviously done quite a few interviews this week. I think you got more interviews with some traders this week. Yeah, I got two interviews later today and then probably another two uh, on Friday. Cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna keep you guys with me. We're gonna check out what the AstroFX team are doing because I know that they've been uh, catching up with a lot of traders, giving them reports about what's been going good and bad with their trading and obviously highlighting to me people that me and Mark need to talk to. Then we'll hop into the trading floor, catch up with the traders, and I'm also gonna take you along uh, my day later on because we're gonna go and check out one or two of the other offices that we also manage here at AstroFX. Show you a little bit about behind the scenes what happens here to make everything happen. So follow me. Uh, as you guys know, we have a lot of important work done here. We're always keeping up to date with what's happening in the markets, but we'll also have a lot of fun here. Um, you guys might have saw on my Instagram stories, this is a good place for a good drink at the end of the evenings. A lot of friends come here as well. Sometimes it can get a little bit loud in here and be very distracting. So, we've got soundproof. And trust me, um, after Algo Trader has one too many drinks, he does run into this as hard as he can. Uh, but in that room is the AstroFX team, so follow me through and let's go to see what they're up to. Hey guys, hope you're good. Back here in the Mayfair trading floor. So today has been quite a busy day. So Mark has actually had two sessions on the floor covering the London session and of course the US Open. Myself, pretty busy. I've actually got a Zoom call in the next five minutes with one of my traders in Europe based in Kosovo, I believe. Gonna go over his month, hopefully see what he needs to improve on before he actually reaches out to our customer care team. Follow on. Tell me a little bit more about your previous experience, Mo, like prior to joining Astro. Like, what's your experience like in the market so far? 
Hey guys, what's going on? So I just finished up my last call of the day. I work as part of customer care. I'm just covering all of the student statistics, making sure everything's going okay with their accounts, making sure that they're on the side of consistency and profitability, ideally as well. Um, so yeah, just finished my last call. Here's an example of the quick stats report that we currently cover um, as part of these. And yeah, they're sent out on a sort of quarterly basis just to make sure everybody's doing okay, okay. and they can get all the information from it. Do good, do great, and they talk bad on you. No need, no face, cause they're not factual. No, no, no. I won't stay too long here, I'm just passing through I might hit the bank and get a bag or two My mama asked me why you got that cash room Second you switch up, they might get mad at you No, you're not my friend, so no, I'm taxing you You are like my sons, I'm going dad on you Okay, good job, good job Get my no prop So guys, uh, I'll tell you something a little bit painful So when I bought the AV, which is obviously at my garage you saw this morning uh, Pip decided to come and bite the wind mirrors off and swallow them. So uh, this was a nice ma masterpiece until Pip fucked it up. But it still looks nice here. So uh, let's go. Why are you like this? So many car park spaces here. As you guys can see, the lockdown is fucking over because I have got no car park spaces except for getting a ticket every single day. Uh, let me show you how many tickets I think I got yesterday. I got one. I got two. I think I got three. Guys, this is what trying to drive a car in London is like. Let's go. So guys, you know what? A lot of people always have no idea how expensive it is to drive around London. So let me explain. Congestion charge. I think every single day it's around 11 pounds because it's automatic, so I don't know the exact number. Is it, what is it, 11 pounds? 13, I 13 think. pounds every single time you bring your car in London or outside my apartment 13 pounds on top of that just to park near the office every single day it's around 30 pounds for four hours now if you don't move your car after four hours you get a 60 pound fine which means every single day I bring my car out and I get a little bit distracted it costs around about a hundred 120 pounds just to move your car outside london fun facts for anybody that doesn't know what living london's like now i have four cars so yeah it can be very expensive in case you uh, leave your car somewhere but um now guys are on the way um i've got two offices well i've got three uh two in mayfair one in westminster so what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna drive up to westminster and actually show you guys a little bit again as i said behind the scenes of astro you guys sometimes always see one particular side of it which is the front end side but i want to show you guys you know to grow a company like we have grown astro fx which is nearly eight years old now uh, next year um there's a lot of people that work behind the scenes to recruit new traders to help people when you know they've got a problem when it comes to the technology when it comes to again the, all the stuff that happens behind the scenes and we always always are looking for hard-working people who believe in the brand who want to join and so what i'm about to do right now is i'm going to show you the westminster office where i believe we have five new staff who are just getting to know um you know a little bit about astro and how things work here and hopefully you get to meet them so let's go check them out Guys, so the reason I'm actually gonna keep on getting angry about what it's like to drive in London, even though I do find it fun in a nice comfortable car, uh, the Eurus that got hit yesterday, as you guys can see, from London being so tight. And just over there, I remember I was driving in my Aventador, uh, I can't even say that right, Aventador, Aventador, Aventador. That leaves me angry at me. <laughs> um, but when I was driving, there's this huge block just surrounding the middle of the road and my tire went smack off it. And I've curved my tire, my rim, three times in the same spot in London. This is like, what I'm gonna do a separate vlog of me being angry, driving around London. It's coming soon. So guys, another fun fact that I'm sure Sean doesn't want me telling you, but Sean used to live just up there in the penthouse um, in Parliament Place, it was called. And um, he moved in very, very quickly. I told him, take your time before moving into an apartment. Nope, he moved in, he paid. Uh, <laughs> I went over uh, when he first moved in. And um, when you open the curtains, all you see is about 70,000 people on the computers working, staring at you from your bedroom. Um, so yeah, Sean hated living there and obviously he's now having a good time in Thailand. But London, another fun fact, everything's so much together that you've got to keep your curtains closed at certain times and he did not do that. Bro, 
sometimes I actually forget what floor the office is on here. Um, you know, it's, it's the fifth floor. It's the fourth floor. It's not. It's, it's, the, the, fifth, fourth. it's, it's the fourth floor. Anyway, that's the other one, isn't it? Yes, that's <laughs> I told you. I told you. I told you. Wait, what? It isn't the fourth floor. <laughs> it's the second floor. Hey guys, so here we are in the Astro FX Westminster office. We've had this office um, before the pandemic, so it's been about a year and a half now. Now, what happens here is a lot, again, behind the scenes. Now, again, we've got good traders on the program. We've got fantastic traders on the program. We've got fantastic analysts on the program. But to manage all of that, you also need good people to be part of customer care and customer service because we want everyone on the program to actually have the best experience they can. So um, what we try and do is we try and hire some highly motivated people who have a passion in trading and also can help grow the brand. So let's meet some of them. How are you doing guys? My name's Reese. I'm part of the customer care team. I've been at Astro for a little while now. Today we're in a Westminster office. We're just going to go quickly take a look at the guys to see how they're doing. We've been keeping them up to date with what we're doing here at customer care. Let's go take a quick look. Yes, we are ordering some Nando's. I do not need that. Chicken butterfly, two regular sides, creamy mash, and spicy rice hot. Yes. Fuck yes. Are there protests going on? About what this time? It's protest about. This is every day in London, guys. Every fucking day in London. This is. Excuse me, mate. What are they protesting about? Travel. Travel. Okay. Oh yeah, it's not illegal to travel. Yeah, you damn. You know what? Yes. Good for the protesters, actually. I've now just joined my stance, changed my stance on those protesters. They deserve to be there. They're very nice people. Um, yes, uh, it's all about quarantining, guys. Um, make sure that you stay safe and don't travel over the pandemic. Ordered it here. Oh, there, there he is. He's happy now. Yeah, enjoy, brother. It's his man. So, guys, this is the third office in London, the second office in Mayfair. I've got this office halfway through the pandemic no. for a lot of exciting projects coming up. Let me tell you some more. So guys, we have two exciting projects coming up that we will be releasing in the near future. So number one is called Track. Now, for anybody that's an AstroFX Accelerator member knows what about Track. So Track um, is a website in which any trader from anywhere in the world can for absolutely free plug in their trading account and get all their statistics. Now, as you guys saw this morning, what I was doing on my computer at home was I was analyzing the Astro traders. Uh, my job is to notice patterns amongst the good traders to make them even better and spot bad habits to alert the traders how to change the way they are trading to get them ultimate performance from them. We notice which traders, which days they perform better. We also notice which currency pairs they perform better at what time during the day. We've got toxic percentage, stop loss percentage, take profit percentage. We will even allow ability for you to journal your trades. These are all the things that I have noticed over the past 10 years plus of me trading, how to make traders consistently better. So in this office, we have a few quants and we always have a few brainstorming sessions about how to bring the best product, which will be tracked to the entire world. Now guys, if you guys are following Astro for let's say more than three, four years now, you will know about Everything FX. Everything FX uh, was a website that me and Sean built and it was highly successful. And um, it was again, another free platform which traders can go on there every single day and get their technical breakdown, their fundamental breakdown, information about cryptos, articles. It was a place where I called it your home for Forex, where every single morning before analyzing the charts, you can get all the information about what you need to do before you attack the market on the website. Now, Everything FX at one point, was having over 30,000 unique visitors every single month, which was amazing. But due to me and Sean moving to London and us having not as much manpower as we wanted, and we wanted to focus on Astro, we put everything FX a little bit on the back foot. 
Some of you guys might know about Practice Pips. Practice Pips is a completely free school, which I'm proud to say over 30,000 people went through Practice Pips. And a few months ago, I was thinking over the pandemic again, as everyone was at home, how can I bring everything FX back with a bank? Now, guess what, guys? We have the team. Guys, we have all the accelerated members, which I can see all their analysis, which would be perfect for traders in the world to go ahead and see. So in this office, you're gonna see track being worked on, you're gonna see everything FX being worked on, and again, showing you guys behind the scenes of what it takes to bring this to the trading community. And what I like to call this room, come have a look, is the war room. So guys, hope you enjoyed that video here today. So again, I just want to show you guys a little bit about my day, what's happening behind the scenes, starting off at my house, going through the few different offices and telling you about some very cool, exciting projects we have coming up real soon. For more information on how to get involved, link it in bio. Guys, I'll see you in the next video.